Hi, Angela from Dumfries and Galloway Libraries here and today for a wee bit of a change I'm going to be doing some baking. In the run up to the great British Bake Off final tonight, the Allisons from the archives did a wee bit of digging and discovered a fairly well used copy of the Dumfriesshire cookbook, third edition, that was published in the 60s. And among the flapjacks and oat cakes, Alison discovered a recipe called Nutty Fluff. When Galloway Glens asked us to collaborate for the week of the final, naturally we decided it was time to bring Nutty Fluff to the world. The ingredients are pretty simple, I'll give you the recipe at the end, but first, let's get the oven on. Okay, so I'm putting the oven on at 200 degrees because in the original recipe it asked for a hot oven. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put 6 ounces or 170 grams of vegetable fat. You can use butter, the original recipe uses butter. Um, in here. And a tablespoon of golden syrup. This will take a minute because it's golden syrup. There we go. This will also take a minute because it's golden syrup. And whilst I'm here, I'm going to put that on at a low heat just to get it started. Don't want it to cook too quick with golden syrup in it. Okay, let's melt that down. Okay, so that's been about four minutes and as you can see there, it's quite well melted, although yeah, that's that golden syrup in there too. Now, let's mix the dry ingredients together. I'll put this on low, just so it doesn't set again. Okay, so we've got five ounces or 140 grams of desiccated coconut. five ounces or 140 grams of rolled oats. The recipe actually said Quaker oats, but I'm just using rolled oats. And five ounces or 140 grams of castor sugar. Mix them together. Make sure they're quite well mixed together, I think. You'll notice I'm using a fork, that's because that's what the recipe asked for. I'm trying to keep it as close as possible. Okay, mm that's looking quite well mixed. Let's get the melted stuff in. Okay, here we are. Get that fork out of the way. Actually, I make a wee well in the middle. go and pour this stuff in make sure we got all of that syrup in there pop that back out the way and we'll mix these together and you see it's kind of like fluffing up a bit because of the heat already. Move these out the way a bit. Right, so here I've got it's probably about a nine inch tin and I put, I've, I've greased it and I've put grease proof paper in, kind of a belt and braces thing, just to make sure it doesn't stick. And let's put this in here. And 
I'm going to squish it down with this flat plastic thing. Plastic because it doesn't stick as much to plastic as it does to a wooden spoon or that. Okay, there we go. Let's get it in the oven. There we go. So now what we have to do is wait for it to go brown. Okay, I'm gonna call that brown. Now I'll just show you. Ooh. Pop that back in. And now we're gonna turn it down 150 and cook it for a bit longer so that'll be 20 minutes altogether turn down from 200 to 150 let's see how they're looking oh oh that's warm <clears throat> yeah i think that's looking pretty good golden brown kind of colour not bad now I'll put it here and I'm going to leave it to cool for a wee bit before I cut it so I've left it for about 10 minutes to cool and I'm going to cut it into probably nice long fingers feels nice actually so these are now completely cool, totally cool on the bottom. I'm going to transfer them onto here, pile them up on there. Just hoping it doesn't fall apart. Oh, that's good. There we are. Whoop. Oh, they're looking nice. And just start putting them on this tray, uh, plate. A bit crumbly. And there we have it. They look quite nice. Maybe a wee bit crumbly, but let's see what it tastes like. Eh? Mmm. 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 Wow. Very tasty. Um, here comes the recipe. Pause it to have a proper look. Thanks for watching. <laughs>